Welcome MFL viewers to Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium, built on money from a loan that can't possibly be paid back. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team storm the field. The Cleveland Burns take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are attuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy low hands nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Third down and forever. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Good thing they had a good catch in the end four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Roid Rage brings out the worst in anyone. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Second down, and, he, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And he 
Pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking this. Oh, great pass block. That's just as good as a sack. No, it ain't. When you get a sack, you get to hit the QB in the nuts. Yeah, good point, Junior. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Dirt sandwich. Second down and six. Oh, he just got crushed. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And that's why he's on defense, schmuck. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. You can't keep a good mutant down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Oh, that was a snooze fest. Third down and long. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. <laughs> well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt.
And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And the QB, how do you like your defense? Boom to the moon! Another loser fights the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. First and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. He broke free and has open field in front of him. If he was at home, don't worry. He doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Frick. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Six. Man, what a hit that was.
And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nice. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Boom! And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. We're at the two-minute warning, and they'll take a quick timeout. Well, will you tell the interns to get us some Frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, at least they could pee for me, too. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out during halftime. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I fall. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Bricks' match stupid time. That's why the girls called me. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Third and four. And they take their last timeout. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. He got rid of it out of bounds. That's better than throwing a pick, I suppose.
They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go to a strategic show. Where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Bring up third down and seven. You've got to catch that. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. And this guy is on fuego. Does he like to 
original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. They run it on fourth down and pick it up. That's four new downs and some big, big baboon balls. Grim, did you just say big, big baboon balls? Yes, I did. Nice. And it's first and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. Second down and more than the QB would like. He zings it in there for a four yard gain. Third down and the punter is warming up. Pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. A little too mutilated. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. Ah, oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean, stomp them into the ground. Man, these guys have... And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on And he snags the punt and looks, oh, nice hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. it for four yards second down and six and that'll bring up third down and seven We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. Roid Rage, how do you like your brain? Scrambled or fried? One Roid Rage breakfast special coming up. He caught it, 
and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Yeah, boo, baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't say it. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. QB passes it for maybe a yard. They've got to open up the offense here, Bricks. Second down and nine. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a and then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked off the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. First down and three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. yard on that one not my yard got too much buried in you know the usual money bodies coffee cans filled with well uh you know mostly coffee tastes better like eskimos burying salmon heads kimchi i'm at it anything really tastes good holy mother of mutant mayhem he scored you know letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope grim first them then vampires then mermaids then before you know it we're letting in cat girls you know, things really start to get weird at that point. You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Oh, and he 
looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, 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 I got bingo, Grim. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Oh, I love this dirty trick. C5 fo fum. Stomp him in the, the ball razor through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means you can back up the other half and save it for later. Nicely done for a first down. Oh, seriously, man, you think you'd go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And it's first and ten. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. Put on a display there. Touchdown! It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I would want a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard though when you put them on, it feels just like chicken skin shoes. Second down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I uh, top off my drink. What do they do? Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Uh, it's complicated. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and they use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> Third down and eight. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, can I kill him? That's 
the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. He had it for a second there. Offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. And that's a good by the numbers throw. And those numbers add up to two. You want to do some fun on your time? The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. Not much there, maybe a yard. And it's first and ten. for a first down. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. And the Philadelphia Eagles defend their home turf with a win. They handed the opposition a crushing defeat with a two-point win. And talk about a close one. Speaking of close, do you ever wonder why razor blades need fine blades? I get a close shave just fine with one of those cheap travel razors, don't you, Grim? No idea what you're talking about. Let's hear what the MVP has to say about this victory. Yo, man, nobody can touch the fireball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.